Let's look at some examples um, of arguments and see if we can identify what logical fallacy is here. We've got three examples here. First, <clears throat> if you don't want to drive from Boston to New York, then you will have to take the train. So this is an argument about how you need to travel from Boston to New York. And notice it frames, says, well, if you don't want to drive, then you have to take the train. It's showing two options and saying that, uh, well, if you don't use the first, you must take the second. Okay. And, uh, and this is a false dilemma. This is a false dilemma. False dilemma is when you are uh, given two options without any possibility of more than the two options. Well, of course, you, you can get from Boston to New York without taking a drain or from driving. Um, so just because it's not that first option doesn't mean it's going to be the second that's presented. Next, the New England Patriots quarterback Tom Brady likes his footballs slightly underinflated. The, the Cheatriots have a history of bending or breaking the rules, so Brady must have told the equipment manager to make sure that the footballs were underinflated. Now, this argument is saying that we've got a couple of things, right? Tom Brady likes them underinflated, and we've got a history of bending or breaking the rules. Therefore, Brady must have broken the rules to get those underinflated balls. Well, this is saying, well, these two things are, uh, are both true. Therefore, um, one of them caused the other. This is correlation um, implies causation. Okay. Logical value. Correlation uh, implies That is certainly, certainly not the case. Finally, whenever our smoke detector beeps, my kids eat cereal for dinner. The loud beeping sound must make them want to eat cereal for some reason. Okay, well, here's a, a sequential, uh, so sequential events, right? Um, saying, well, the smoke detector beeps and then the kids eat cereal. So that beeping causes them to want to eat cereal. This is a post hoc argument, post hoc, in saying that because the, the eating cereal for dinner always follows the smoke detector beeping, then that smoke detector beeping must have uh, led to that eating cereal. Well, no, of course that's not a valid argument. Smoke detector beeping, that probably means that something's burnt. The dinner that was cooked was burnt. So what's left? Well, cereal. That would be, that would be a little bit more likely, um, and even that we don't know for sure.